if maybe you're Math and Cobb, uh, what's your favorite unsolved question in group theory? What open group theory problem is my favorite? The inverse Galois problem all day, every day. This problem is just amazing. One of the points that Rx Math was trying to make in the video I'm replying to is that groups, finite groups, and group theory, finite group theory, can be so incredibly complicated. Groups can be so weird. And the inverse Galois problem is asking what groups, what finite groups appear in nature. Maybe you disagree that this is nature or natural, but uh, this is what I mean when I say groups appear in nature. What the inverse Galois problem asks is what finite groups appear as the Galois group of a polynomial with rational coefficients. So if you have an extension of the rational numbers, a finite extension of the rational numbers that is a Galois extension, then you have a Galois group. And the question is, do all groups appear as Galois groups? If not, what groups appear as Galois groups? And we think all of them appear as Galois groups. That's the conjecture, but it's far from being proven. If you start from a polynomial of degree n with rational coefficients, you can factor it over the complex numbers, look at the roots alpha 1 through alpha n, and build an extension of q by adjoining those roots to q. This will be a new field, which is actually a Galois extension. So you can look at the field automorphisms. That forms a group, and that group is what we call the Galois group of f over q, and it's a very natural group to consider. That group is a subgroup of Sn uh, because there were n roots. And we know that every group, every finite group, appears as a subgroup of Sn. So the question is, what subgroups of Sn appear as Galois groups? For example, when n is equal to 2, then the only group of order 2 is z modulo 2. And this polynomial has the Galois group z modulo 2. When n is 3, there are two groups of S3 that are not z modulo 2, is S3 and z modulo 3. And uh, those polynomials have the Galois groups uh, we want. And the smallest group that we don't know if it appears as a Galois group, it appears in S23 generated by these elements. It's called the Matthew 23 group. And we don't know if it's a Galois group of a polynomial.